The ultimate wedding flower checklist, every arrangement you need. Do you have a meeting with a wedding florist coming up? Then it would be best if you created a wedding flower checklist. We've already outlined everything for you, so you'll know what to ask. Flower arrangements for the bride's wedding party. Bridal bouquet. Bridal hair flowers. Bouquets for bridesmaids. For the maid of honor, a different bouquet. Headpiece for the flower girl. Decorations for the flower girl basket. Petals for the flower girl to toss. Consider these flowers, you can't go wrong with roses, calla lilies, and tulips for a bridal bouquet. To set them apart, the bride's flowers are usually more elaborate and extensive than those of her bridesmaids. Alternatively, you can have bridesmaids bouquets in lighter colors and the bride's bouquet is fresh and glittering. Choose a bouquet different from the rest for the maid of honor. Make your flower girl's head shine with a handcrafted felt flower headpiece in yellow, pink, green, and white. Keep flower petals simple and trim them for the flower girl to toss. Additionally, feathers can be used as alternatives to petals. For wedding decorations, consider pew bows for the church. They come in myriad shades and looks that can be tailored to fit your preferences. Consider including bouquets or table centerpieces with flowers to continue the theme after you move from one venue to another if needed. To keep your bouquets light and exciting, look into seasonal flowers such as dahlias or gladiolus during warmer days of summer weddings, pansies in autumn, amaryllis hair comb pieces and poinsettia for winter celebrations, or cherry blossoms for springtime ceremonies. Also, consider filler materials like ferns and baby's breath daisy cups that give accompaniment items when arranging full-blown flower displays. Be sure not to overlook community garden-grown wildflowers too, Cornflowers are always a great choice since they possess both beauty and flair, combined with very cost-effective pricing that makes it attractive for couples who'd love some extra elegant effects without breaking their budget line item much. Flowers for the groom's wedding party. A boutonniere for the groom. A boutonniere for each groomsman. Best man boutonnieres in different styles. Consider these flowers, as you plan your wedding, one of the details that shouldn't be overlooked is wedding flower options. You and your betrothed don't need to go overboard, a few small flowers are enough for boutonnieres on the big day. However, if you want coordinating nosegays, corsages, or additional boutonnieres, you can always add those too. For example, if you want to make a statement with flowers for your wedding bouquet, consider blooms such as roses, hydrangeas, lilies or daisies. This a reminder that although the type of flower is essential when creating a neat look, color and texture must also be considered. Take advantage of complementary shades to coordinate with items in your description, like venue decorations or bridesmaid dresses. When selecting boutonnieres, think more significantly than just one type of blossom. Try combining two types of flowers, such as small anemones, with a single hypericum berry for a rustic meets vintage vibe. Carnations are always an excellent choice if you prefer something classic yet stylish for groomsmen boutonnieres because they come in many colors. That way, everyone's personality shines through their florals. Flowers for grandparents and parents slash corsage for the bride's mother. Corsage for the groom's mother. A boutonniere for the groom's dad. A boutonniere for the bride's dad. Corsages for grandmothers. Boutonnieres for grandfathers. Everything else you'll need from your florist, like ribbons, corsage pins, boutonnieres and flower girl baskets. Consider these flowers, you can get orchids, roses, or carnations for the grooms and groomsmen's boutonnieres. Like the bride and maid of honor, the best man gets a unique boutonniere by choosing a different type of flower, size, or color. It's a tradition and a formality to give a boutonniere and corsage to parents and grandparents. Consult your family about their preferences. You can get a wrist or pin corsage for women, for instance. For grandparents and parents, you can't go wrong with orchids. Their beauty is unmatched, and they will show how much you care for your elders. Their subtle fragrances make them a perfect accent to any bridal look. Whether for the groom's mother or the bride, a corsage crafted of delicate white petals intertwined in dainty pearls would represent all the love and joy from such a meaningful relationship. For boutonnieres, carnations are always an excellent choice, as their longevity matches that of family bonds. Flower arrangements for the ceremony, Floral arrangements for the welcome table or entryway. Central floral arrangements, like an altar or hupa. Chair or pew flowers. Candles. Floral arrangements for the aisle. 
tossing petals for the guests. Consider these flowers, an entryway arrangement and welcome table are nice touches to get everyone started. The same effect can be achieved with alternative decor elements. As centerpieces, try branches, terrariums, lanterns, or fruits. Most of your ceremony photos will be backdropped by the altar or hopa arrangements. We love a good floral arch, even if it's not required. You can also decorate the altar with other things besides flowers if you want to save money. Your guest seating will look lovely with pew or chair arrangements, and the aisle will look stunning. For the most accessible reuse as reception decor, we recommend an organic style arrangement on the floor. Putting two statement arrangements on either side of the aisle will make a significant impact without costing a fortune. You don't have to add many little arrangements throughout the aisle because it frames it up. Reception Floral Arrangements Entryway Flowers Arrangements for Cocktail Tables Table Centerpieces Decorations for Buffet Tables Arrangements for the Bar Escort Card Table Arrangements Decorations for Newlyweds Chairs Decorative flowers for past trays Flowers for the cake Arrangements for the lounge area Arrangements for the getaway car Consider these flowers, you can match your ceremony flowers for the reception or go with freshly picked blooms, low centerpieces like peonies and roses, or an ombre look with the same flowers, like hydrangeas Include a floral wedding cake in your flower budget if you're getting one Make sure you think about the cake table too Flowers make cute getaway car signs and decor look even cuter, though unnecessary. You can make the wedding look just married with lush wreaths and garlands. For even more impact, choose flowers that align with the overall aesthetic of your event. For example, a tropical theme could include anthuriums, heliconias and orchids while a classic wedding look might incorporate roses, tulips and peonies. And if you don't want to miss out on color, you can add other favorites like dahlias or sunflowers for extra cheer. Flower Arrangements for the Honeymoon Suite and Send-Off Flower Arrangements for the Honeymoon Suite Arrangements for the Send-Off Area Bouquets in Wedding Colors for the Newlyweds and their Attendants Flower Petals on the Bedspread Flowers for the Hallway Leading to the Suite For the Honeymoon Suite and Send-Off Area, you can add a touch of romance with romantic blooms like roses or peonies. Or choose some unusual flower varieties, such as proteas or tropical flowers, that will add something unique to the celebration. To take your concept even further, use select statement florals such as oversized arrangements and focus on accent deliveries, including pomanders and full bloom compositions, for an unforgettable day. Please subscribe to our channel Best for Bride for future updates and visit our website www.bestforbride.com